Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to just touch on the responses that I received from my last video on Jehovah's Witnesses and the satanic memorial that they practice in rejecting the body and blood of Jesus Christ. I had I was actually inundated with responses as usual, really beautiful comments, messages of support. But in amongst all of those messages, um, I actually received messages from active Jehovah's Witnesses. And some of them were really positive and some of them were negative. And that's fine because everybody's entitled to their opinion. But what stood out to me was that the active Jehovah's Witnesses, and they're not PMO, they are active, uh, messaged me and three of them, individual active Jehovah's Witnesses, after seeing my video, decided not to attend the memorial. I was blown away. I thought, wow. And they messaged me as well after. They told me that they decided upon seeing my video that they were not going to go. One of the ladies actually started asking more questions in that she wanted to know what I did for the memorial of Christ's death. So I explained as a born again Christian, I eat the bread and drink the wine because that's what our Lord commanded his true followers to do and to keep doing that and proclaiming his death until he arrives. And then she said to me, um, how did you get rebaptized? Because I mentioned that I was rebaptized into Jesus Christ because the Jehovah's Witness baptism is actually a baptism into the organization. So I explained that my son had rebaptized me into the Christ. And so she is now wanting to keep in touch with me as an active Jehovah's Witness. And the other two comments that I received from active Jehovah's Witnesses were that they couldn't believe actually that what I was saying was right because the scriptures do say that we need to, you know, be obedient to Jesus' command to eat and drink. And so they didn't go to the memorial either. I did get a response, a couple of responses from Jehovah's Witnesses, active Jehovah's Witnesses, that were negative, but that's fine uh, because they're entitled to their opinion. Uh, one of them in particular wants me to stop my channel, to stop exposing the governing body, to leave Jehovah's Witnesses alone because in his words, Jehovah's Witnesses are the happiest people on the face of this planet. They do their ministry the increase of Jehovah's Witnesses coming into the organisation is larger than it's ever been. Um, I did have a bit of a smile on my face when I read those comments because he said where he comes from, a place in Africa, the same place is actually having the worst outcome for uh, Jehovah's Witnesses coming into the organisation. So I thought I'm not going to argue the point but the facts are the facts. And of course, me reflecting on both sides, the positive and the negative, I'm obviously making an impact regardless of the opinions of others in the organisation. And of course, this is what I want to achieve. I want to be able to expose this organisation without any constraints because I'm not controlled by anybody and I don't answer to anybody actually except for Jesus Christ and his father and of course I've got lived experience of being an, uh, one of Jehovah's Witnesses I was a Jehovah's Witness for 35 years it's not like I'm doing this channel and I've come in without doing any research on the organization um, you know I know the ins and outs of this organization for what it is and look I'm going to say it right here and now. Um, some of the principles that Jehovah's Witnesses taught me were very good. And I benefited from them. I mean, I gave up smoking uh, when I was uh, studying with Jehovah's Witnesses. So that helped me. They helped me in that regard. Well, actually, not they. It was the scriptures that helped me. 
you know, and uh, some of the Jehovah's Witnesses that I know and have been friends with, you know, are beautiful people, although that now they have shunned me and they don't want anything to do with me. Isn't it weird, you know, you, you're friends for 15 years, 12 years, 10 years, and as soon as you say, say you don't believe what they believe anymore, your history, but that's their loss. And my friends know where I am if they ever need to contact me because it's my firm belief that some of my friends will wake up and they'll know where to find me. And so just getting back to my um, comments about the negative and the positive of active Jehovah's Witnesses, I did actually say to the, the guy that wants me to stop my channel and stop talking about exposing Jehovah's Witnesses, I did actually say to him, why are you watching my channel as an active Jehovah's Witness? Something must be appealing to you or else you wouldn't venture onto my channel in the first place. And if your elders found out, the congregation elders that you are part of, if they found out that you were watching my channel and other channels like mine, you know, you would be in serious trouble. You would definitely be in the back room, James, you know who you are, uh, and you could be, you know, accused of apostasy or listening to apostate material or, you know, listening to apostate views. Either either way, you know, you would be in hot water. But you keep coming back for more. One thing I'm going to say to you right now is I'm not closing my channel down. I have a lot to say. I have a lot of encouragement to give to other people. Uh, people, um, for the majority of people that have heard me and watched my channel, are so supportive, so kind, and they can actually get where I'm coming from because they've been through similar treatment and they've been through similar experiences. And, you know, you guys that are negative, Jehovah's Witnesses that come onto my channel, you are very few and far between. And, you know, I've got an olive oil back. You know, I can just let things uh, wash over me these days. Um, at the end of the day, you're still in. I don't tell you to stay in. I don't tell you to watch my channel. That's your choice. But please then don't go attacking me for exposing the truth about this organisation because most of my followers actually agree with what I'm saying and are very, very grateful for the fact that I've come on YouTube and uh, gone on record to say what this organisation is all about. So, you know, um, for those active Jehovah's Witnesses that have wanted to know more and have admitted that, you know, they've been doing things wrong when it comes to the memorial, uh, I encourage you to keep searching. I've given you my email address, but for anybody out there, you can get me at welcomejesustoday at gmail.com and I will answer every single email that comes in. In fact, I have been inundated and as a result of my YouTube channel, I'm now having Bible studies, private Bible studies with ex-Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, a Jehovah's Witness that's still going to meetings. So... You know, I feel truly blessed. And at the end of the day, all of us, as the Bible says, if you are a Christian, we have to work out our own salvation. And once you identify with this organisation and you see everything that's wrong with it, it's like I said to somebody uh, not too long ago, once the band-aid, once the plaster has been completely ripped off and you see the wound, so to speak, you see what's going on in this organisation, the festering of it um, behind the curtain. You can never go back. Even, even if you didn't have a spiritual need or you didn't have a belief in Jesus or his father and you just wanted to leave because of the hypocrisy and the lies, just on that alone, once you leave, you can never, ever go back. You know, and that's where I'm at. I could never go back to something that is so corrupt, something that Almighty God and His Father, I believe, totally disapprove of, 
you know, my ex-best friend believes that it's the spirit-directed organisation that God is using today. Well, you know, um, I'm not even going to say what I what I would say to her on here because it's just nonsense. But at the end of the day, you cannot you cannot look at something that resonates with you in a negative way because you see the reality of it and then stay in it. It, it just doesn't make any sense. So people can make allowances, they can make excuses all the time that they want for this organisation. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's, there's millions of people now that are waking up to the organisation and they're leaving, they're making the decision to leave, which is their right. And when you start having a critical mind, a critical thinking on how this organisation operates, you know, you're going, you're going to go down uh, the rabbit hole. You're going to go on a journey of discovery and it's, it, it, it is painful. In the next videos that I um, will be doing, I'll be covering deconstruction from the organisation and actually reconstructing your true authentic self. But I just want to um, thank everybody, every single person mostly positive, a few negative, who have dared to, you know, be brave, be courageous and speak out, no matter how you feel or no matter how you think. As long as you're not being abusive or hurtful, everybody has a right to say what they need to say. This is what YouTube allows. So I just want to carry on. I hope those Jehovah's Witnesses, that the couple that have been negative, I hope you have a change of heart and you listen to what everybody else is saying. Just look at the comments on my channel. Look at the comments. The comments are uh, overwhelmingly in agreement with what I'm saying. You know, 650 subscribers can't be wrong, can they? It's only the odd one or two, you know, that speak out against. But then... Maybe it's because you know deep down that we're all telling the truth. And, you know, you need to come to the plate and just let everything go and, and see what we see. You'll be a lot happier for it, I can guarantee you. Until next time, folks, please take care of one another. Be kind, be forgiving and show love wherever you can.